The MSI X470 Gaming M7AC features 15 digital power phase for superior overclocking, rainbow LED header support, and an M.2 Frozer shield for enhanced heat dissipation. Overclock your memory easily using AXMP and enjoy a sophisticated BIOS engineered with gamers and enthusiasts in mind. Click on the link below to learn more. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're trying something a little bit new called Potato Tech. This may become a little mini web series uh, if it's well received enough, but uh, it should be exciting. What yeah. we're basically going to do is take a look at some super dirt cheap products and tell you guys which ones are spuds and which ones are duds. Today we're actually going to be looking at three of the top rated mechanical keyboards on Amazon for under 30 bucks. Now we're not going to get very technical, but we are going to keep four categories in mind when looking at these keyboards. Uh, first one is going to be aesthetics, uh, quality, performance, and lastly features. Kyle and I were actually not going to be in the same room when we're looking at these keyboards just to ensure that we don't influence each other's opinions. At the very end of all this, Heather and I are going to have some scoring cards and so we're going to play scoring cards on each of the keyboards based on how we feel about them from best to worst, but we're going to play them face down and secretly and then reveal our results at the very end to see if our opinions match up. Which so, they might because we're married, so you know. Or they might not because we we're married. Not. So yeah. uh, it'll be very interesting to say the least. Very excited to get this underway. So you ready? I'm ready. Let's bring out the first keyboard. Oh, this is the Aki keyboard. Comes with a keycap remover. This is useful. Looks pretty boring. Very plain. Very minimal, but that's my style most of the time. Uh, this kind of looks like a like a USB stick to me. This little part where the logo's at. I like how small the body is. You know, it's mechanical switches, so it could be a gaming keyboard, but it could also blend in at like a doctor's office. The keys are a little bit weird. I don't think I like the font that they use for this keyboard. It's really weird. The font on the keyboard is somewhat gamery. It's a little bit gamery, but it's not too over the top. Quality is also not bad either. I mean, it's plastic, but very little flex. Quality, I mean, how do you test the quality? What features, I actually, what are the features of this keyboard? Looks like we've got Windows lock key, some multimedia function keys, some hotkeys for email, web browser, volume up and down. No LEDs on this guy, which I, personally do not mind at all. There's definitely not RGB, so that's a minus one right there. Five foot cable, pop out feet with rubber. You always get pop out feet. You don't always get rubber on the feet though. Cherry MX uh, stem right there. So you could replace these keycaps with some Cherry MX uh, keycaps if you wanted to. Oh, look what they have right here though. A keycap remover. Hey, that works pretty good. I believe this keyboard is also spill resistant, if I remember correctly from the product page. So that's actually nice. I think this keyboard also has N key rollover. I don't know, I feel like I don't have really much to say about this one. It's pretty boring, it, like it's just plain and just looks like a very generic keyboard, to be honest. If I remember correctly, there's a 24 month warranty on this keyboard, which is twice as long as the other two. That definitely instills some confidence in, in this product compared to the other two, I will say that. This keyboard is all right. Oh, you know what? This actually feels pretty good. I like how it's very like short, quick travel, not long and obnoxious. It's not really doing anything for me. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just, a, yeah. It's just this is, uh, you know, for under 30 bucks. It ain't bad. Oh, it's the ugly one. All right, HC man or Hickman. I'll just call it Hickman because that sounds easier to say. Uh, comes with a keycap remover as well. Ooh, we've got a two-tone thing going on here. Silver body, looks like aluminum alloy maybe. The black on the silver, I'm just not a fan. It looks nice. It looks nicer in person than it does in photos. I will say that. Aesthetics wise, zero points. Is this the same font? It looks like the exact same font. Like the keycap font is exactly the same as the Aki. Again, what is with these fonts? The little arrow keys on this side are kind of weird looking. A little bit more flex than the Aki. Definitely a bit more flex. Also a bit lighter too. I should mention from the little research I did do uh, that all of these keyboards are not only 10 keyless, but they also all feature blue switches. Um, however, they are not 
Cherry MX. They're all their own in-house name brand or whatever. Oh, oh, I forgot to take out the little feet. The feet are plastic, so they kind of, I feel like no matter what service, surface they're going to, it's going to be on, it's going to kind of just like slide around when you type. No rubber, that's too bad. Volume up and down, mute, Windows lock key as well, your web browser, email, calculator. Ooh, we get a braided cable. It's weird how you can see like the screws from this side of the keyboard. Like you can actually see a tiny screw there. And then I also don't like how they have like a little screw showing on the front. Like I feel like keyboards should look very seamless and it's kind of like an orsa, ice, orsa, eyesore. It's kind of an eyesore. Why don't we go ahead and plug this guy in? All right, RGB LEDs confirmed. RGB? I'll be honest, it's not the highest quality LED treatment I've seen. This, you know what? You you just gained some points here. Whee! Okay, so this this keyboard's definitely a lot more blingy. It's got it's got the bling factor that the other two do not. Cherry MX stems, so again you could put keycaps on this guy. Ah, interesting. They almost have like a, a loose feel. Like they feel like there's almost not quite enough actuation force for my liking. I like a little bit of resistance, you know what I'm saying? I'm thirsty. Oops, no, I'm not 30. They just kind of go down too easy, like a cheap hooker. I actually do like the typing, the performance on this keyboard. You know what's also interesting is that these keycaps, I don't know if you can tell, but they're a little loose. They kind of pivot a little bit, right? Makes my fingers feel insecure. I don't know if that makes sense, but. And uh, I feel like the cheaper plastic that's used here Makes them a bit more slippery. Yeah, I can't quite put my finger on it. Tomoko, keycap remover. Well, if it wasn't for the little logo right here, I would think that the Aki was just placed right in front of me. This looks very similar to the Aki, like strikingly similar. They must be using the same OEM. We still have pop out feet. They're rubber. Oops. We do get a non braided cable, just like the Aki. So I definitely like the font much more than I do on the other ones. It's much easier to read and they don't have like weird symbols. Uh, the font is is just not gamery at all. It's just like, it's like Calibri or Arial or something, which hell yeah, I'm a huge fan of that. This one, it definitely looks the best out of all three of them for sure. Not a huge fan of the branding here. This little T symbol, whatever logo, looks a little tacky to me. I'd rather just say, you know, Nothing at all. The the Tomoko, this one that I'm holding right now, is much heavier than the other two. So right there. It's got some weight to it. Quality wise, like I can already tell that I think this one is gonna be the best. Hardly any flex here. Definitely much higher quality here for the keycaps. Once again, MX stems. I believe this keyboard is spill proof as well. End key rollover. We got Windows lock key, volume up and down, mute, some multimedia keys. Yeah. These feel good. These feel great. I feel like it's a little bit more like sticky. Like it doesn't, there's some resistance. That's the word that Kyle would use. There's more like resistance. Could be a little bit more resistant. It's a personal thing. I feel like the resistance is about the same for the Aki and the Tomoko, but actually I feel like the Aki has a little bit more resistance than the Tomoko, so. I think the biggest difference between these two keyboards are the switches themselves. These switches, don't feel quite as resistant as these ones. These have a, they feel like they have a higher actuation force, you know, and there's this one that's, eh. I actually do like the typing on this keyboard more than I like these ones. Yeah, I don't know, so this is, this is gonna be really tough. Man, it's tough, it's really close, but um, I think I'm ready. I think I know who the real winner is here. All right, here we are, judgment time. So the way this is gonna work is that Wifey Sauce and I have three ranking cards or three scoring cards each, uh, one representing our favorite keyboard, one representing our second favorite keyboard, and the third card representing the keyboard we liked least. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna be playing these cards on each of these keyboards face down, very secretively. We're gonna close our eyes, and then Chris is gonna flip them over. We're gonna do a big reveal and talk about our results or our decisions. So, sound good? Sounds groovy. All right, so whenever you're ready, go ahead and place your cards on the appropriate keyboards. Ah! So pink is obviously wifey sauce and I am blue. So 
Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Chris. Chris. Do your worst. Flip over the card. Don't swap the cards. I can feel you. I can feel you swapping them. Oh, almost there. Hold on. Hold on. All right. All what right. What are you doing? Why is it taking you so long? Oh, the are anticipation. You the we good? Yeah. Three, two, one. Open your eyes. Ow. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Well, wow, we are very opposite. Yeah. We are literally like opposite. Holy moly. So you thought this one was the worst, the Aki? Yeah, I hated this one the most. Why? I thought it was so similar to this one. The resistance, this one had a little bit more resistance on yes, the keys. Yes, which is why one. I like that one better. Oh no, I don't like it. I don't like the resistance. Right. I like them to be easier to touch. Yeah. Like, so for me. That's why this is not a scientific yeah. video. It's entirely subjective. So, that makes sense. So I hated this one the most. I would okay. never use this keyboard. Ever. Okay. That being said, I wasn't sure which one I was going to pick first between the Tomoko and the HC Man because I liked that these keys had the least resistance out of all three keyboards. They did have the least resistance, but almost to a fault in my opinion because they were so loose. Like, I feel like they could have used more resistance and I felt myself like mistyping a lot more on these keys because I tend to be more heavy handed when I type. So that's why, and, and the, the key caps were just too loose for my liking. Um, it just felt, oh, wow, this, really... this definitely felt the cheapest out of the three in terms of Which quality. Which is why I gave it second place and like aesthetics. Like this by far is like the ugliest key Board I agree. Out of all three. But you still Thinking. chose this one over this one because of the way the keys felt. Yeah. Honestly, like, just... if, if this keyboard had these switches, then I would have definitely given it first place. So really it was the switches that... It that... was the switches. It, it boils it a... down to the switches for me. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the main thing I'm going to be doing on a keyboard, and these felt the most comfortable for my typing style, so... Yeah, I guess everyone's, everyone's different, yeah. you know, how they type. Well, cool. I, I'm glad that we sort realize, of agree on some things. I just realized there's an Internet Explorer icon on this one. Yeah, that's that's another reason why I gave it the the, the, the spud dud. They're, they're encouraging the use of a poor poorly made web browser. Well, that was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. Uh, I guess this is all to say, if you're going to pick up one of these keyboards in the near future, you should definitely go with that the Aki. One. Oh, no, wait, that one. She doesn't it's even know. Help. She doesn't even know which one she voted for. Clearly, the Aki is the best one. No. Forget the no one, Tomoko no one tomato your keyboard. Opinion, Kyle. It's not like you're some like tech reviewer on YouTube or something. Keycap grenade. All right. On that note, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Let us know what you thought of Potato Tech. If yeah, you'd like to see us like bring it? this back. Okay, we're gonna have to pick these. You're gonna have to pick these up at some I'm point. I'm not picking up anything. All right, very good. Chris? Let's end the damn video. Pick them up. Have a good one, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel and all that. We will see you all in the next video.